20A, we're asked to solve this. Now, the first thing I noticed when I looked at that is I have a 3x on the denominator on the left-hand side. Yeah, I don't want uh, x's on the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 3x. So I would get 3x multiplied by 4, 8x subtract 2, all over 3x is equal to 3x multiplied by 10. 3x multiplied by 10. Now, there's a factor of 3x on the numerator and denominator, so I can effectively cancel them. And I can write that 4, 8x subtract 2 is equal to 30x. Now, my best option is probably to expand the bracket here. So we can write 4 multiplied by 8x is going to be 32x. And 4 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 8. And that's going to be equal to 30x. OK? Now I'm going to subtract 30x off both sides because I want to get all the x's together. So I'd have myself that 2x subtract 8 is equal to 0. Then what i do is I'd add 8 to both sides because I'm trying to find x. So I'd add 8 to both sides and I'm going to continue my work over here. Well, actually, I could just write that 2x is therefore equal to 8. And if 2x is equal to 8, dividing by 2, x must be equal to 4. So I get that x is equal to 4. Now, obviously, after a lot of steps like that, you can never be 100% sure of your answer. So let's go back and check it to make sure we haven't made a mistake. Now, 3 multiplied by x, that on the bottom you would have a 12. So that would be 12. 8 multiplied by 4 is 32. Take away 2 would be 30. So this thing here would be 30. And 4 multiplied by 30 is 120. So 120 divided by 12 is indeed 10. You know you got the right answer. So you can feel confident. OK, the next one. Write as a single fraction in its simplest form. OK, you're subtracting fractions here. You know when it's with numbers, if I asked you what two-fifths, like subtract a third is, you would make the denominators the same. So we need to do that here. We need to make a common denominator. The common denominator is the product of y plus 3 and y subtracts 6. So we're going to multiply this one on top and bottom by y subtracts 6. So we're going to get 2y subtracts 6 all over y add 3, y subtract 6. And this one we're going to multiply on top and bottom by y add 3. So we're going to have subtract y add 3, and then we're going to have divided by y add 3, y subtract 6. OK, so now we can actually combine them, the tops anyway. So we can write this is equal to 2y subtract 6, subtract everything here, y add 3, all over y add 3, y subtract 6. OK, so now let's try and expand the top. This would give me 2y subtract 12. So we'd have on top 2y subtract 12. Now, we're taking away everything in this bracket. So we're taking away a y and taking away a 3. So subtract y and subtract 3, all divided by y add 3, y subtract 6. So therefore, on the top, if we keep going with this, 2y take away y is 1y, negative 12, and subtract another 3 is negative 15, all over y add 3, y subtract 6. OK, so our final answer there, therefore, for this one would be y subtract 15 divided by y add 3, y subtract 6.